Students see the question. Find the LCM and HCF of following integers by applying prime factorization method. Student, you can see both the part. Ab yaha par number hume three de rakhe. First part mein twelve, fifteen, and twenty one. So student method same rahega LCM and HCF nikalne ka. Now prime factorization of twelve will be two into two into three. So that is two to the power two into three to the power one. And prime factorization for fifteen is three into five. That is three to the power one and five to the power one. And prime factorization of twenty one is three into seven. That is three to the power one and seven to the power one. Now three to the power one is the least power of the common factor three. यहाँ common factor सबका three है उसके least power one है. So HCF of twelve comma fifteen comma twenty one is equal to three. Now two to the power two, five to the power one, and three to the power one and seven to the power one. Are the greatest power of the number involved in prime factorization of twelve, fifteen, and twenty-one? So LCM of twelve, fifteen, and twenty-one is two to the power two into three to the power one into five to the power one into seven to the power one. That is four into three into five into seven equal to four hundred twenty. So LCM and HCF is done. Now see the second. Here number are eight and its prime factorization are two into two into two. That is two cube, and nine. That is prime factorization three into three. That is three square, and twenty five. Its prime factorization is five into five. That is five square. Since there is no common factor other than one, in numbers me koi common factor nia aur jab kuch common factor nii to one to hota hai common factor. So HCF of eight, nine, and twenty five is equal to one. Now LCM of eight, nine, and twenty five is two to the power three. Into three d square into five square. That is eight into nine into twenty five equal to one thousand eight hundred. This question is complete. Student C question. Check whether six to the power n can ends with digit zero for any natural number n. Student, हमें बताना है कि six to the power n क्या end करेगा zero से या इसका unit place zero होगा? Last place. किसी भी एन नेचुरल नंबर के लिए सो so स्टूडेंट देखते हैं क्वेश्चन को सो इफ एनी नंबर इज एंड्स विद जीरो सो इट्स डिविजिबल बाय टेन अगर कोई भी नंबर जीरो पर एंड करता है तो वो स्टूडेंट टेन से डिवाइड होगा दैट इज टू इंटू फाइव यानी वो टू एंड फाइव क्या होंगे उसके मल्टीपल में आएंगे ही आएंगे और इन अदर वर्ड इट्स फैक्टर कंटेन प्राइम फाइव उसके फैक्टर में फाइव जरूर आएगा But in case of six to the power n, it is not possible. ये possible नहीं है क्योंकि उसके factorization चाहे n आप कुछ भी ले लें five नहीं आएगा. Since six to the power n is equal to two into three to the power n, and this will be two to the power n and three to the power n for any natural number n, and there is no other prime factorization for six to the power n other than above. ये आपने prime factorization की theorem में पढ़ा है. So six to the power n never ends with zero for any natural number n. So question is completed.